Money come and gone, let's get straight to it. Been a businessman, it's bigger than music. Now there's been a few things that I needed to catch up on the M340 and one of those has been the paddles on this car. Uh, you guys can see right here in the back. Uh, by the way, what's up? How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Ah, just started this one off literally in the middle of things. But the market paddle shifters broke on the car so uh, that were supplied by Go to Rent Supply. Not saying they're cheap, cheesy paddles. I'm just saying they can't handle the intense, vigorous paddle shifts of your boy so stop by a couple dealerships today just looking just window shopping to get some service done over there if you guys seen probably the other video uh, bmw owens mills have they have two m4s coming in gd2s one is black with red interior the other one is frozen part of my blue like my color but frozen and i've got the color interior it's like extended i think it's black uh 180 one is 81 grand the second one is 88 grand just a lease, a lease quote, because I know the finance numbers myself. I actually got an updated uh, price quote on the M340 as well, $41,000. So that's pretty good, forty dollars to $41,000. If you guys want to lease a M4 brand new competition from uh, BMW Owens Mills, I think the prices are pretty high. This is with zero down completely, 36-month lease, uh, 12,000 miles. You're looking at effectively fourteen hundred and seventy nine dollars now if you ask me i think that's pretty pretty insane for a freaking m4 um they said that they was going to sell it to me at sticker and blah, blah blah however they've added a couple things and i'll break the breakdown to you in a minute you do have a savings review i think that's loyalty for already owning a bmw 36 months twelve thousand miles uh, so the selling price will be 81410 which is actually a pretty in my opinion bare bones m4 comp they can go up to like this price right here i mean before all of these extra fees they added on uh so some of the cup some of the things that they had and i don't i'm not too familiar with leasing so bear with me here uh you have a 331 dollar government fee uh 499 doc prep fee $1,400 ECP, 200 wheels, $100 nitrogen, and $925 ac fee, acquisition fee, I'm assuming. Now it says adjusted cap cost is eighty-eight grand. That $88,000 is actually probably the same, if not a little bit higher than the other spec M4 that was coming in. So I can only imagine what they're going to charge someone um, out the door for that because this is not even tax tags or anything like that and we're already to eighty eight thousand dollars I can see how we're released for fourteen seventy nine with taxes and everything it's freaking crazy oh by the way this is zero down to the dealership with taxes tags title everything included is supposed to be fourteen seventy nine so we get back to the thing I was I'll go ahead and I don't know demythify some of these things government fee i have no clue i feel like car companies should be a little bit more descriptive into what they put in these uh things because government fee what what is that i mean you hear government you kind of think that it's mandated but i have no clue i've never paid a government fee on a car especially nothing so awkward as 331 uh you know doc fee i've paid money for doc fee now i think 499 might be a little steep maybe you could haggle them which i did none of that talk them down um but uh, I don't know. Um, but 499 is what they say. I think that's high. Uh, ECP for some type of paint package or protection, ceramic coating, or some something like that. $1,400 is insane, especially for something that I don't know what product they use. I don't know if they even use a product, or I'm not sure the warranty or whatever like that. I recommend you go to somebody like Yuri or YPO to detail something like that. Get that done. 
So you have wheels. What does that even mean? $200. I mean, the car come with wheels. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Nitrogen, pretty sure they mean to fill up nitrogen air in the tires. If you're going to charge me $100 for that, you might I'd, I'd bleed the tires out. Hold on. Personally, I'll just bleed the tires out myself and put regular air in it for 25 cents or 75 cents, how much it costs now. Now I can pay $99 for nitrogen air filled tires and $200 for wheels that I don't even understand what it means on this paperwork. Like I said, the ECP, the ceramic coat, I go to YP Auto Detail, get that taken care of. You'll save a couple bucks on that as well. And you actually know, have a tried and true product that he stands by and I stand by. It's on my M340. Uh, we know it beads and all that stuff real good. Uh, next, you know, acquisition fee, 925. I think it's like a bank fee, which I'm pretty sure for leases, you got to pay it anyway. That's how they got to the 88410. So in my opinion, I would say if you could talk them out of half this stuff that's on here, which is, seems like it's complete garbage, you can get the lease number down, but uh, 1479 out the door with zero down is what they're saying. Which, gee, this is just uh, something I've been thinking about and looking. Uh, I'm visiting my mom, so I ain't had nothing else to do but head by the dealership. So my mom pulled up in her Ferrari. I had to get you pulled up in your Ferrari, you know? That's right. Your brand new I knew Ferrari. what you were doing. I knew what you were yeah, doing. Yeah, I know. See? Ferrari. I gotta get out. <laughs> right? <laughs> Chevy. <laughs> You're too old to be in a hula hoop. It's a waiting hula hoop. Okay, all right. It's exercise. All right. <laughs> all right. Go to the house so we can go get the crab cakes. Right? You're doing what you're doing. I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm minding my business. Oh God. oh God, let me go back to my video. <laughs> After all this mess and everything coming out, by the way, this is the spare and jack setup that comes with my car because my car also came with Pilot Sport Forces, no run flats. So you get an extra little thing right here. By the way, the trunk is deep. A lot of you guys ask me, um, you know, how deep is it without its stock, its stock height without, I mean, its stock trunk space without the spare attachment thingy but with it i mean you know you see one of the things that no one's really asking but i've been wanting to try this out this car comes with two batteries a lithium ion battery underneath the hood very very small like lightweight expensive battery and there's like a big agm type battery in the back now i'm curious to see if i disconnect the battery in the back will the car still start with just a lithium ion in the front i think it should i think i should get all electronics but I'm not 100% sure. I'm assuming that lithium ion battery in the front is kind of like for like capacitor-ish type uses. It does hold the charge, but I'm not exactly sure if it's built for like a long lasting running charge. I'm also gonna see if I get any uh, malfunctions. Now I'm 100%, well, I'm like 90% sure it'll work with the lithium ion battery disconnected because, well, BMWs come without them anyway, uh, but I'm not sure if it'll work the other way around. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot. And well, I could already tell you that it doesn't seem like it because I have no power here whatsoever, so. Okay, so. Not exactly sure on which way that lithium ion battery is connected because I know for a fact it's underneath the hood and it's connected and it's attached. However, I have no power in here at all. So, you guys know what the use of that battery is for and why I get no current. Like the battery is essentially dead now unless there's like some kind of switch under there Off. this is the air bar so as we can see this one came out perfect you see the guts and this is the broken half of the golden wrench however this one I had to take out completely you can see the paddle, you can still push it to upshift. But when this one originally broke, I went ahead and I went ahead and put some super glue on it. What ended up happening is the super glue bonded this little pin piece in here so that it made it just a little bit difficult for me to get the golden wrench part separated from the OEM BMW 
So yeah, I'm think I'm gonna soak this in some acetone or something. See if I can get it you loose. Stupid, Michael, <sighs> don't be filming no dumb stuff. No, I feel you driving. How could I film dumb stuff? <laughs> you driving. If you do dumb stuff, then I'm filming dumb stuff. Oh god. Yes. We gotta test it out to make sure everything is good. All right. You good now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you ain't test out the paddles. I'm not testing out the paddles. You know, that's the point of the drive and to go get crab cakes too. Uh oh. What's the plus and the negative? Oh, well, upshift and you drove. You know how to drive manual. It's oh, the same thing. Oh, well, I'm not driving this in manual. No, it's just manual mode. Yeah, I'm not doing that. This ain't real manual. We ain't got no clutch. Yeah, but I'm not doing that. You just gotta test to make sure it works. Yeah, you tested to make sure it works. I won't know if it no, works or not. No, you just you will. You gotta pitch into the the I, M I'm two, not, three, no, four. No, yeah, I'm not doing that. You know how to get there by heart? I'm going to the other place first. Do they have award-winning crab cakes? I'm not. It's not a crab cake place. It's Home Goods. Why are you going? To, we went there yesterday, no? I know. No, we went the other day. But now, yeah. So just test out the paddle. I'm just boom. No, no, no. I didn't do nothing. All right, relax. <laughs> Press it to the paddle. Stop. I'm ready. All right, use it like a manual. You know when you shift, you gotta shift. You don't have to shift now. But press the minus. Does it work? It, it, no, it feels better. Press the it. minus. All right. No, it felt better this way. It felt better with the plus. Yeah, but you gotta. The minus is downshift. It's like downshift yeah, in the car. I know. So just upshift the That's car. It. Make sure. See? It works. Yeah, now it just works. Just press I one more time. It. Downshift. No, the minus. The minus again. I minus one more time. No. Okay, it works. I need to. <laughs> like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I need the plus. <laughs> you just want, don't want to be loud. It's okay. It yeah, I need Stop the plus. Stop plusing all the way to 10th gear. I'm mean, at 7th gear. Plus. All right, you got it. You're good. Let's go. Okay. He said, stop plussing. All right, so we know where you just put it back automatic because you're killing me right now. Yeah, don't I touch the paddles. I'm not Don't plus or minus anything. I told you don't touch don't. it. I told you I shouldn't be touching no paddles. God. I told you don't be touching no paddles. Jeez, you worse than my friends, man. That's right. Look at how much paddles on there. You know, I want, I want to go over there by the town center thing and take some pics at night. Oh, okay. You think it'd be nice, right? Yeah, it would. I'm thinking about doing that. See, that's what I'm thinking. Yo, doing YouTube out here will be way better than doing YouTube in New York. The scene, yeah. In New York, you gotta go to a space and then yeah, the plane might fly over. Then you got the helicopter, then you got the subway train, you got the bus, you got the people. Yeah, the people is a, a big lot. thing. And then you got the cars and the wind and so much. Here, I could just do like 150 every day going the back roads, you know what I mean? Whereas in New York, you gotta watch up speed cameras, cops, tickets, it's all this speed stuff. speed cameras here. Yeah, I know, but the speed cameras here, well, I, I guess I'm used to these speed cameras then. Because these speed cameras, one, a lot, a lot of them are movable. So you just look for the car in the middle of the road after it says, you look for that white RAV4 or whatever be in the middle of the, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. That'd be in the middle the of the little street. Thing on the side. Yeah. And it, it's, and it says photo. Yeah, enforced. All of the signs in New York says enforced. Oh. So it's like, I kind of remember you, where all the ones in New York are too. But still, you get hit by a couple. Like, I remember that the, the Honda did 52. In, yeah. a, in a 25. I don't know how the Honda Civic got up that fast. But well, whatever. a Honda can do 50. If it can ride on the interstate, it can do 50. Nah, I know, but so fast. Because I know exactly where it says I got that ticket. Uh -oh. And where I got that ticket, I never knew the Honda could get to 50. From where? Okay. Where, for in that that, in that short distance, that. yeah. But it just, it seems like a lot more, like, I don't know, you just feel like getting up and doing stuff out here. It's to me, it's just cleaner and more. Yeah. It's easier to move. It was like on it the West feels Coast. Easier to the move. West Coast. It's I see why a move. lot of Cali people do YouTube and Arizona and stuff like that. It's easy to move. When I'm out there, Rashawn. It's like yo, the every day looks bright. Film on a GoPro looks good. Film on my phone looks good. Film on a camera looks good. Here has like a haze in some, some angles, mm -hmm. but it always looks good in California. Always looks good in um, Arizona. It's crazy. Like right here, you can just do one quick pull, you know what I mean? Like just wah! Oh my god, my okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you hit a turbo building? Yeah. But that was so slow. What I know. How paddle did you use? Right? <laughs> like I see you get in the seat. I'm like this, because I'm like, oh my right? god. What I hit a turbo boost. Yeah, it's up, not and happening. I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe this is really happening. It's man. not Michael. You, you pressing the gas past five miles an hour. Yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> Don't drift around the parking lot here. <laughs> okay, no. my Oh, look, they got the gold wheels too. Uh -huh. <laughs> Except that's not exactly a nice looking car, but Anything, whatever. Anything. Yeah! Stock paddles OEM for the win. For the win. So, fortunately, we had to go back to the stock paddles, but, um, but nonetheless, 
They ain't all that bad, I guess, considering the fact that, well, they're free. I didn't have to pay for them. They came with the car and they actually work. They're functional. So actually driving, go link up with my guy, David. He's going to take me on some nice roads out here in the, in the PA. And, um, oh, Mr. Turn, Mr. Turn. Is that the turn? I think it's the turn. Hold on one second. Let me reverse. So yeah, I get some footage for you guys and I get back to you guys when, um, when I get here. Yo, this guy 30 minutes late. Nah, I'm at the the filming. Woo! Yo, the roads out here are way too nice. You got the iPhone out here, the boom. Yo, how many batteries you got, bro? You got like 30 batteries, yo. Yo, you wanna spin it out here? Spin it, man. Let's go. I can't spin that Yo, the bugs out here, no joke though. The bugs? God. Shit. Woo! So some people might not know, I'm not sure if you guys from the south or maybe because it's not a thing i'm north i noticed a little bit i don't know but if there's dashes on one side of the street like the yellow dashes and one straight solid line that means you can pass on that line so whatever line you got dashes on you pass look Let's just get the juice and get out of here, man. I got a higher professional camera, man, so I ain't got to film nothing. You, know? <laughs> you got to be like, um, what's the dude's name? Cool. Tall guy and uh, oh, Mr. Yeah, Organic? Tall guy. Yeah, 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 nah, yeah. but you got to think about it. Um, Stratman don't have a camera guy. He be doing numbers. Yeah, but I don't know how, man. <laughs> like, Stratman, you see, he does more like, I don't know, he's more excited. Like, he's more like coked up. Oh, yo, I keep making rookie moves, bro. Yeah, <laughs> you good. But, um, I don't know how he does something, but I need to give you one. You know what? Some people I feel like don't need a cameraman. Some people do. This is dope. Like, me personally, you know what it is? Because I think I do too much at once. That's why I need a cameraman. I do too much stuff. So I could be here pumping the gas. You could be filming this. I could be thinking about our next move. Or you could go get the drone and film around in the drone. You mad That's true. Get it. Have a team. That's true. Yo. Oh, God. Nah, nah, nah. Not right now. 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 Yeah, I got him. Next summer, next summer. How long is it gonna last you? The tank of gas? Uh, who knows? It'll probably last me to Jersey. <laughs> After Jersey, it's gonna be done. It's, it depends on how hard I drive it. I don't drive that hard. Either. You think 10 and a half? Yeah. 11? Go 11, bro. You, you kind of far out. Yeah, I go 11. Yeah, so you can park. You can park. Um, I'll, just, I'll, just huh? I'll just record while you park. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna let the car run so the E cycles through the, the fuel pump. So hopefully, by the time I get back. Whoa. You know, that's that sounded different. No, I don't, it don't got no e in just that sounded a little different. Nah, it's not different. It's not the same. The e didn't go through. The, you'll see when you come back out. The e should be. Oh, oh e thirty six. Damn, that just shot up fast. E thirty seven. So assuming that the e over here is good. No, no, no. It just, just it, it, it normally doesn't down. shoot up that. Well, I had the car idling for a long time. E forty. Once I get up to about oh shit, damn, I even hit the wall. Once I get it to like okay, yeah, it's high enough. I'm gonna just switch it to the map now. The camera good? Yep. Right, let's 
so now we're gonna kill map. E43, this should be good. What do you want it to be? I want it to be anywhere from E47 to E50. But this should be we'll good. go down the block and be E50. Yeah, that's what I be thinking. Pull back up to the crib, bro. <laughs> like, it's just <laughs> crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm gonna have to get some stuff done. Bro. That shit was nice. <laughs> that E made a big difference. Yeah. I'm about to get that E. I'm telling I'm you. And I wasn't even pushing it. I don't I'm know if you noticed, I wasn't pushing. I kept slowing off I'm because. I didn't call the Euro charge. Because I didn't. Because Mikey told me, he was like, yo, if it's above E50, yo, Mike, you could blow the motor. Bro, I'm after the drop. The, I'm gonna have to drop the. Oh, what'd you say? Hold <laughs> on. Run like I don't got any stay. Yeah. Run it up. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Went from my eight to a late on the run like I don't got any stay. 